CAPS is a collaboration between business, community, and education where we provide students with professional skills while developing the local workforce. Essentially, we take students outside of the high school experience for half their day and fully immerse them into a professional environment where they work on projects given to us from different individuals and organizations throughout the Cedar Valley. When you bring education and, and business together, it, it unfortunately has been more of an obstacle. With CAPS, we're changing it up a little bit. So instead of businesses going into the school, we're bringing the school into business. The process started with, uh, they contacted the president and director of HR here at Viking, who then came and stopped by my office one day and asked me, you know, what I thought about it. And naturally, I was a little uh, tentative and wondering, and I'm going to need to know a few more details before, you know, I could commit engineering resources to it. But, you know, as we talked through it and uh, brought the administration team in and the school teacher in and got to know each other, we realized everyone was just really trying to help. And we really had um, a lot of thoughtful conversations about what's not going to work for Viking, what wasn't going to work for the school system. And then we just started trying things. And when things didn't work, we just kept an open line of communication and uh, revisited actions if we needed to. But ultimately, we got it done. They're teaching us stuff that we don't learn in school, which is why it's here. And they're also teaching us how to, you know, come out of our comfort zones so that when we do go to apply for those jobs and go into the real world, we have more applicable skills and it's easier. I've learned that I wasn't really applying things to my life before I started this program. Like, I have better time management skills now. I work on different aspects where I know that I have a weakness there and I try and turn it into a strong suit. So the CAPS program has really made me apply things to my life. I really like working more independently and like doing actual work that matters to the company and working with real life engineers because I never got to do that in any of my classes. The CAPS projects start with a project filter. This year, all of the projects center around one particular technology, a stereolithography 3D printer, for producing a mechanical seal installation sleeve for our lacked pumps. The CAPS associates have been providing support activities to that bigger picture of using 3D printed parts in Viking pumps. With programs like the CAPS program, it's not just about like a bunch of teenagers going and doing grown-up jobs. It's about training the next like generation of workers that are going to come to those companies. I believe they give high school students the opportunity to actually solve problems and be innovative while they're still in high school. There's about an 80% turnover at the college level where people are changing their majors all the time. So I believe this gives them an opportunity. If they really feel strongly about engineering, during high school, figure out and kick the tires. Do you really want to go into engineering or you don't? So this provides them an outstanding opportunity to actually get a real life experience on that. Working within the Midwest in Iowa and Cedar Falls in particular, the workforce is ever shrinking and especially as we look to fill really technical positions, there's definitely a gap in the skill set that um, our workforce has and the skills that we need and that we're going to continue to need in the future. So by having the CAPS associates here and working on projects and working with the technology that we have here, it gives them a really great start to understanding what the future looks like for them and what skills they'll continue to grow and what skill sets they'll need as they look into college or other technical careers that they can pursue. I've really enjoyed working with the CAP students because of their high adoption rate of technology. These associates, these high school students, soak up technology like a sponge and they apply it in unique, different ways that we wouldn't normally think of. It's really inspiring to see the associates at Viking use technology to solve some of our engineering problems. Viking Pump is a good partner because it has a lot of different projects that it likes people to work on. It also has a really nice space for CAPS associates to uh, work in and also see how their engineers and technicians work. They really provide for us. They gave us a, a nice office space for all the CAPS associates and really they just give us projects and they're willing to help with anything that we need and they really just support the CAPS program in general. Viking Pump has brought so much more that I was not expecting. All of my associates have personal or business cards of many of the Viking Pump employees saying, hey, if you need to call me, here's my card. So all that support and feeling part of the team is great. They've been an outstanding partner, one that we 
we put up front as obviously it was our early adopter, their first host site, and they've been amazing ever since. You know, they continue to up the ante by providing spaces, providing resources, providing equipment, and providing mentors and engineers and different people within the organization that have been rallying around the program, working with our young men and women to improve their skills, to be great mentors to them. Without those experiences, without the resources that they can provide, without the environment that they can provide, our program wouldn't exist. Yeah, I think one of the most rewarding moments um, that's come out of the CAPS program and the partnership with Viking Pump is a particular associate that came into the program just kind of wanting to explore and do some projects. Neither of his parents had ever gone to college and he didn't really see that in the future for him either. And after working through the CAPS program and getting to work on some projects, he really decided um, that he does want to pursue further education. He doesn't know if that's going to be necessarily a four-year degree or a two-year um, technical degree but he understands that there's more out there for him. One of the interesting things is how they see themselves after CAPS once they get to complete projects they feel wow I can do things and that for, for me that's really powerful. Many of them feel that they don't have good communication skills and then later they have to speak to lots of people and feel they can do it or they don't have good writing skills but after writing 10 emails they feel more comfortable doing it so just getting more comfortable with their skills and knowing that that can really lead them to a path, not just for CAPS, but after CAPS, after graduation, what they can do. To me, that's been one of the most positive influences of the program. I would give a message to all the other leaders out there that are going to participate in this program that don't try to dot every I and cross every T. That's not what it's about. It's about letting the administration and the associates and the teachers themselves figure out how to do it together. It's really about providing them opportunities. And you may not know if they're the best opportunity, but take a risk, you know, throw something out there and see if it sticks and, and it can help these guys out. You'd be surprised at what they can get out of it and what you can learn from.